Dub C here, and we're back with another MRE ration review. Today we have the French RICR Duo Review with Fireball Fred. So I will go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and do a review on this. So is he. He's also gonna be posting it the same day, February 22nd. Make sure you if you see mine, you definitely want to go see his because I think it's one of his first foreign rations, I'm not sure, but definitely want to go check it out, kind of see him explore ration. I'll be doing my normal review, he'll do his way, and it's two perspectives. Can't go wrong with that. I got this ration from actually from Joe's Army Navy Surplus. Um, they have a great website, they have a bunch of surplus, uh, survival gear, and all kinds of uh, wonderful camp items. Definitely want to check out the website, I will have that link below. Also, at the end, I'm still going to save the best for last. At the end, so stay tuned, I got a Ann and Ellen Baking Company gooey butter cake that I'm going to be trying out at the end. This is, I, I want to save the best for last. I want to save this for dessert. So I'll go ahead and do my review, but I'm definitely going to be eating this. I'm excited today, so I've heard such wonderful things. Um, so you can get these at Park Avenue Coffee. Uh, like I said, there is a website for Ann and Ellen, and they're selling through Park Avenue Coffee. Both links also will be down in the description below. And I also want to take a quick little moment just to uh, talk to everybody. So I know this, you know, I've talked to a few people, and I'm going to say the best way to support, if you like my content or anybody else's content, the best way you can support them is hit that thumbs up button. So if you like it, hit that thumbs up. Also, you can subscribe. And you subscribe and hit that bell. That way you're always up to date on what content's coming out on your creator. If you like my content, hit the subscribe. Hit the bell. And the biggest thing about that is, is that's the best way you could support fellow YouTubers. And there's no charge. So I've talked to a few people and that's what I'm saying. Is they, I say, hey, you know, if you like that, you should subscribe. And they're like, how much is a subscription? It's nothing on YouTube. So I also want to mention that me and Fireball Fred will be reviewing these French rations. They're missing mains. And that's the start of the event that I kind of put out there. No main, can't complain. For this example, uh... Lost Remains and Fireball Fred told me it was the pesky gnomes. So we're going with that. All right, now we got all the information out of the way. It's time to get inside and see what we got. So let's get started. Get this opened up. It has been opened already. So October 14th, 2022 is the expiration is menu number 11. It has both um, French and English on the front. And also, this one is a 24-hour ration, so there's quite a bit of food in here, even though the main was taken out. Um, so I'll be breaking it up into breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, let's get everything out, and then I can uh, get everything separated. So it usually comes with a pull strip right here, and you would pull it and let it go. But because it's already been opened, we just got to cut the tape, and we can see what's inside. Okay. As I said, there is quite a bit of food in here, so we'll start off. We have some chocolate muesli. Looks really good. This is a drink pack. So we'll go through that in just a moment. We have some soup. These are biscuits. So they have three kinds in here. You'll have your salted biscuits, your cereal biscuits, and your chocolate biscuits. And they can be used for various from pate to jellies uh, to with your cocoa or coffee. We have some prunes, canned prunes. Kind of all over there. This is some pate. I believe it's, from my understanding, pork, pork pate with mushrooms. So we're definitely excited to check that out because I do enjoy uh, pate. Never seen it with mushrooms in it. So our tissue pack, and we have lots of bars. So we have a pate. Looks like a, a fruit, like a peach. We have an isotonic drink. It's like a mango tea. So I'm really intrigued by that. We have a strawberry jam. Looks really good. And we have, um, looks like a commando bar. Not sure what that is. We have another one that, uh, it's like the fruit. And then, 
we have looks like 70% chocolate and then a uh, nougat fruit bar and then here is the other main and this one is actually uh, risotto pork with mushrooms so that's really exciting and you typically would have it heated on this tray but since I'm inside it's not good to burn the Esbit stoves uh, inside I say that like um, I might know that's not a good idea but I wouldn't recommend it uh, so if you are going to uh, get this out it actually has a bunch of stuff in here such as the stove in which it just folds up water purification tabs has a holder for the uh, cans while you cook them comes with fuel tabs you place these in the foldable stove. It has a really nice um, pack of matches with the uh, some toothpicks in there. And it has this uh, spork that you put together that I will not be using. That is way too small. I need a much bigger shovel than that. Alright, let's get to the accessory pack. The uh, accessory drink mix is we have uh, coffee. Two packs. We have a uh, tea. I believe this is just a that was a regular tea, and I believe this is the mint tea. And then we have a couple of condiments. We have some sugar, some more sugar, salt and pepper, more salt and pepper. And then this is hot cocoa. That's really good. I'll probably be mixing that with my coffee for sure. So now that I have everything laid out, I'm going to break it up into three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Even though it has a missing main, I'll probably just use the soup as the main for dinner. Um, oh, tried to get another one. You see that? You see that? I almost lost my other main. So let me get everything laid out and we'll uh, go ahead and get started. All right, it's time for breakfast. So to start off with breakfast, I actually have a pate peach fruit bar. I believe this is a just a fruit when the says commando on it. Then I have uh, assorted crackers. I have the salty, the cereal, and the chocolate because I want to try those with the um, hot chocolate that I'm going to make and the coffee mixed together. The salty biscuits I want to eat with the uh, strawberry jam. So I do have the Foreign MRE Spork Titanium. Definitely want to go check that out. Instead of that little plastic thing they give you with this, I'm actually going to use this. And then I have the Foreign MRE Mug. Very cool. All right, so let's get this muesli cooked and up. Get this opened up. It says 100 milliliters of water. And there is no gusset, so you can't really set it anywhere. And there's no tie, so it's going to be kind of setting it against something. So we have the 100 milliliters of water. Now I'm going to go a little bit lighter on the water because I like it a little bit uh, thick. It can be cold or hot water. I just used hot this time. And then while well, that's kind of sitting up, go ahead and get the coffee mixed up. I'm going to have the coffee and the hot cocoa together because that tastes fantastic. Start with the coffee. And then we'll place in the hot cocoa. And this hot cocoa is really good. I've had it before. It's very um, light on the chocolate flavor. It's not sweet. It's very subtle. I just really enjoyable, especially with the coffee. Go ahead and give that a quick stir. Usually it's all set. I'm getting that um, kind of reconstituting. I'm we'll open up some of these bars. So I have a pate peach bar. You can see they're um, just like a sugary coating on almost a peach fruit bar. It's really cool. I want to see what this one's all about. This actually, have a great, there we go. So it's, looks like almost like a nougat type bar, but not quite. So I can't wait to try that one out. And of course we have a, just a regular, we call these salty biscuits. And I want to have the contrast. So I want to try some with the jam. And then also um, we have the chocolate biscuits that I can have with the hot cocoa. Or the cereal biscuits. So you can have with hot cocoa or the muesli. We'll try those out. I'm going to set them over there. Now right, we'll start out with the um, strawberry jam. I'm going to place some on the 
salty biscuit and actually see how that is all about. So, a little biscuit, some jam. The salty biscuit's great. It's very um, t uh, soft bite to it, but it still has a snap. The strawberry jam is very fresh. It, it almost tastes like fresh strawberries. It's very um, very subtle. It doesn't you don't taste artificial in that? That's really good. It tastes really close to the um, just the natural flavor of strawberry, which I can really appreciate. I'll try this peach pate bar. Peach pate fruit bar has that crystal out, out like coating on it that's like a little bit crunchy, and you bite into it and you get that natural, um, really good flavor. Uh, like again, not really artificial. It tastes similar to like a, a gummy or um, any kind of other fruit, you know, pair up where they actually is like kind of a chewy. That's really nice. So I'm going to try this bar right here. And I'm not sure if this is nougat or what kind of filler this is. I'm not a huge fan of the commando bar, it looks like with fruit in it. It actually tastes a lot like a protein bar base, and it has little elements of fruit in it. It's not um, terrible, but the aftertaste of the protein bar, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a powdery vanilla taste that kind of overwhelms me. I'm going to try these. Uh, these are just the cereal crackers. Cereal cracker tastes a lot like uh, graham cracker, but it has a harder texture. Uh, I'm going to try some of this coffee. This is coffee with uh, hot cocoa mixed together to wash it down. The coffee and the hot cocoa is exactly what I initially kind of set out there. It's very good. It's really, uh, the, you can taste the coffee flavor coming through. It's The chocolate flavor is not overwhelming, but it's still there. I'm going to go ahead and try the chocolate uh, biscuit just by itself. The chocolate biscuit is really good. It has um, it's almost the same flavor as the base cereal cracker. Uh, it's infused with chocolate. It's like almost like chocolate chips in there. And they definitely stand out when you're taking a bite. So um, the muesli is ready to go. This is a chocolate muesli. They say you can do it hot or cold. And I'm just going to put it all out on the tree so you can kind of see it. But if you do it hot, it will melt the chocolate. And kind of just spread around, which is not a bad thing, but it is, um, you know, if you do it cold, I've seen it where actually the chocolate will stay intact and it's like kind of like chocolate um, chips in there. So that's actually pretty good too. Let's go ahead and get a bite of the chocolate muesli just by itself. I mean, the chocolate muesli is very good. It's a... Um, the chocolate blended in really well with all the grains and the oats, and it as you take a bite, it's uh, it's not crunchy, but you can add less water if you wanted to. It actually mixed and rehydrated pretty well, um, but it it's really best explained like chocolate oatmeal. It's really flavorful, has a really um, easy chocolate flavor. It's not overwhelming, but I want to try and put some on this cereal biscuit. Just try to try something different. Give it a little more flavor profile. Oh yeah, that's definitely the way to eat that. I really enjoy the chocolate muesli by itself, but when you give the crackers in there, it gives it more of a bite and gives it more crunch. It's really enjoyable. It could probably be done with the salty cracker, could be done with the cereal cracker, or the chocolate cracker. All would be great. But now that breakfast has kind of went through, kind of showed everything for this breakfast, I'll go ahead and uh, finish this up. And then in a couple hours, we'll wrap up and we'll, uh, um, we'll make up some lunch. Okay, we are back for lunchtime. So we have another commando bar, looks like cafe. Then we have some prunes, canned prunes. And then some pork mushroom pate. I'm gonna use the salty crackers for the pate and we have a soup. So I'll go ahead and get the soup going. And then for the drink, I have a uh, just a regular tea. So we'll get the soup bowl over here. Go ahead and pour the soup in it. Didn't say exact amounts, but just figured uh, a little bit up the top. And they said basically uh, put it in there, mix it, and then let it sit for uh, about three minutes. I don't think I told you what kind of soup it is, but it's actually cream of mushroom. Cream of mushroom soup. I didn't mix it that good. I'm trying to let it settle. I should have probably put it in first before the hot water, but lesson learned. 
All right, go ahead and uh, pop these pears open, or prunes open, sorry. So these are canned pr uh, prunes. I've heard of these, but I've never seen them, or actually gotten any. Exactly what they are, just canned prunes. Yep, smell good. Everything looks pretty good on them. Go ahead and open this Cafe Commando bar, I believe. I think it has to be a protein bar, maybe. I don't know, or just an energy bar, but they have that almost that protein flavor to it. And then we have uh, some tea. We got my four memory mug. Throw some tea in it real quick. And then what I'm really excited for is the uh, pork and mushroom pate. So I see a lot of. Like uh, the the main itself is a pork risotto with mushrooms. I have a pate with uh, pork and mushrooms, and then I have a cream of mushroom soup. So this is a an excellent. I mean, I enjoy mushrooms, so it's not a terrible thing for me. But anybody who enjoys mushrooms, menu eleven, loaded with them. All right, let's go ahead and pop this. Should be pate, pork pate with mushrooms. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, it smells really good. The um, I've had some recently with the last, I had a Russian ration that had a pate and it was like butter infused. It's a lot smoother than this, but we'll see. I actually have to uh, get in it. So I'm ex really excited to try this pate. So I'm just going to get a spoonful of it by itself. And yeah, it's, uh, it's not nearly as smooth. It's actually gritty and chunky. And it's got some of the kind of gelatinous side on it. It's actually pretty hard, but you can see the pork in there. You can see the parts of the mushroom and a little bit of the um, fat on there. So let's take it straight out. Okay, by itself, it's really good. It it's kind of too salty. It's definitely it'll definitely um, surprise you because I, I was going for a little bit more subtle, but it was very salty. I did taste the mushrooms in it. The pork pate tastes tastes like pork pate. It has a little bit of the iron flavor in it. So I don't know if it's just a a big match of uh, parts, but we're going to try some on the cracker. I th really think it's probably going to be best on a cracker, only because it just it, the cracker will help smooth it out. And yeah, I can't really, I can spread it, but it's not really that spreadable. So I'm just going to eat it like that. Some pork mushroom pate on the cracker. Oh yeah, that, that was definitely what it needed. So the pork pate with mushrooms by itself, kind of salty. If you throw it on a cracker, the cracker... Throws in a little bit of a bite to it with the crunch. And then kind of holds back that, that heavy uh, salt flavor. And it kind of evens everything out. It's exactly a good pairing. I'm going to wash it down some of this uh, tea. The tea is very smooth. It doesn't have a bitter, bitter flavor at it all. It's really uh, balanced. So it's really nice with just going with everything. I'm going to try this. Uh, this is a Cafe Energy Bar. A lot better than the fruit one. It actually tastes like coffee, and very uh, slight flavor, and it doesn't have the vanilla vanilla powder protein aftertaste. It's a lot smoother in that regard. So I'm gonna try some of the soup just by itself. And this is cream of mushroom soup, and as you see, it thickened up quite a bit with that mixture. But I didn't mix it that good with the the powder, so and it's thickened up pretty good. But we'll go ahead and get a nice little bite, and then I'm gonna try some with the crackers. The cream of mushroom soup by itself is really good. And like I said, it has a, um, it's thickened it up quite well. And the mushroom flavor is much more, has a much more depth than I'm used to. I'm used to cream of mushroom like from um, other brands um, in the States. And the mushroom almost tastes like it's canned. It tastes like, um, you know, just your, your ordinary mushroom. This one actually tastes like a portobello or it has much more depth in the flavor. So it's very enjoyable. I do want to try some on this uh, salty cracker just to try it out. You could definitely take some of them salty um, biscuits and crumble it in there and put it in the soup. It would be fantastic. Uh, even though the soup does not need it by itself, it is very good in flavor. It does change it up a little bit so you don't have just a you know whole bowl of soup by itself. So I want to try one of these canned prunes. I got my fork side and my spork. Kind of all stick together. Yeah, we might have our MVP 
that that canned prunes are delicious they're juicy still and they almost have like a when you bite into them they have a hard exterior and they soft into a, like a nice creamy not necessarily creamy but soft uh gummy interior and the flavor is just about knock you knock you down it's really really good and they're not uh overly sweet but they have a nice little uh sweetness to them that really just kicks everything up really enjoyable those are i've never had them i've seen them but man i'm glad i got to try them those are fantastic so this wraps up lunch. It was a great lunch. And I, I, I forgot to mention, I will be talking about everything in final thoughts as far as lunch or breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, but I'm just trying to break it up in between. So everything was great. Uh, go ahead and wrap this up. I'll finish everything up and then we'll meet back for dinner. Okay, we are back for dinner time. So for dinner, I have pork risotto with mushrooms. I have a nougat bar with fruit. And then for dessert, some chocolate noir, uh, 70%. And then for drinks, I have a mango tea and another coffee. So let's go. I'm going to take the main and actually start getting that warmed up on the burner. So for the isotine drink, it says 500 milliliters of water. It actually is a big pack. Mango tea. Oh. All the way through. It smells really heavy of mango. Mango. Not much tea in there, but we'll see. There we go. I'm starting to smell like tea a little bit. Let me get that mixed up and let that sit. And we have our coffee. this in we'll give it a mix and I actually have these um, more of the chocolate biscuits to eat with the coffee I think it'll pair very well together get that a mix let that sit all right we got our pork risotto with mushrooms all cooked up and let it cool down go ahead and open this fruit bar in the chocolate kind of see what we got there so this is the nugget with fruit bar in it very interesting and then the chocolate looks like it got melted or something it doesn't feel yeah so this must have got hot somewhere because this chocolate is messed up yeah, basically melted down and wow i will still give it a shot all right Let's go ahead and try this pork risotto with mushrooms. So I got a big mushroom here. I wish I would have kept my uh, biscuit, salty biscuits for this. All right, this main has a very, um, has you can taste the pork right away. It's like a roasted pork. And it has very slight mushroom uh, flavor. And then everything else kind of pairs it like a, like a gravy, like a pork gravy. Kind of pulls everything together. Overall, it's pretty good. It is very uh, light on the flavor. It's not too heavy, but that when you get a nice piece of that uh, pork, you can has a really nice bite to it, and then the flavors really come out of that. Like it like, almost tastes like that, like a pork roast. It's really good. So I'm gonna wash it down with this mango tea. Mango tea is really good. Actually, instead of a normal bite from the like a heavy tea, it has a uh, element of uh, thirst quenching. It is an isotonic drink. Um, with the mango, very subtle again. They they pair together really well. It's pretty balanced. I'm gonna go ahead and try this uh, nougat fruit bar. This is kind of sticky. It might have got hot too, like the chocolate. The nougat bar is actually um, it's hard to put my finger on the flavor of the nougat itself. The fruit comes through really well when you get into a nice fruit piece. The nougat itself almost tastes like um, I want to say almost like a milk or a dairy, uh, but very very subtle. So it's very interesting. I'm going to try, uh, actually wash it down with some of this coffee and then try the, the chocolate crackers. The coffee by itself is really good. I actually, I don't know if I would, if I did it again, I would have put the hot cocoa with the coffee because the coffee by itself has a really rich flavor. I don't use any sugar or cream, but it has a really rich flavor and it's very robust. It, it's nice. I want to try uh, dipping some of these crackers in it or 
I'm sorry, the chocolate biscuits. It's kind of a light dip. Yeah, next time I'll definitely keep the coffee by itself. The coffee by itself, just the plain coffee, is really good. And then you can utilize the uh, chocolate biscuits, kind of mix and match. No, no. If you actually dip them in there, it's really good. They they pair really well. Try some of this uh, bloomed chocolate. You can see it's tore up. Let's see how it tastes. Oof. Well, the integrity of the chocolate bar is actually kind of broke. Every time you take a bite, it's really crumbly. The flavor is still there, and it's not bad. Um, I bet it would be better not melted and kind of reformed, but... Overall, it held its flavor pretty good, even though it's very crumbly. But now it's time for the gooey butter cake. So I'm going to finish this up, and I'm going to bring out the gooey butter cake, and we can uh, try that out. I'm super excited. All right, it is time for the final main event. As I promised, this is some gooey butter cake. We got a card for Dub C. It says, enjoy... Dub C, I sent traditional because you guys try first. And I will recommend everybody, uh, I've been told, to try the traditional first. But there are, I believe it says, close to 73 different flavors available um, at different times. But I, I went on the website and there was like a banana split. That looked awesome. But I was always told by everybody who tries them, try the traditional first so you have that base. So I'm going to open this up. We'll get a piece out. It comes shipped in this box. And then uh, we'll try it out. Oh my gosh, I am super excited. Special thanks to Mar uh, Marilyn. Uh, appreciate um, making these cakes. And really excited to try it out. Again, it's Ann and Allen. Uh, they have a website, allenandallen.com, and Park Avenue Coffee. Definitely want to go check them out. This is, uh, is going to be awesome. i got a piece of cake right here. The moment I've been waiting for. Looks fantastic. Gooey butter cake from ellenallen.com. Oh my goodness. That is definitely the MVP. That's that is amazing. The texture, when you bite into it, it's got a crunchy exterior, but a smooth, creamy inside. And it's got a sweetness, but you also can taste that. Oh, I, I can't even, it's, it's wonderful. If you have not tried a gooey butter cake, you need to go on the internet, find this, the Park Avenue Coffee, nanellon.com, and go order one right now. These are amazing. That's the only way I can describe it. Um, wow. So again, very, very good. Definitely got to try it. I'm going to finish this up, and then we can talk in final thoughts. Before final thoughts... Special thanks to Fireball Fred for another great duo review. I offer tribute to the Fireball Fred. I have taken, this is a, I believe a ketchup or ranch container. I don't know, it's for sauce. And we're going to tribute Fireball Fred. <clears throat> All right, so now time for final thoughts. Final thoughts on the French RCIR 24-hour uh, ration. And I'll tell you, even without the main, I still had a ton of food. It really did, but you have to love mushrooms to love this one. I had pork risotto with mushrooms, pork pate with mushrooms, cream of mushroom soup. So lunch and dinner were loaded with the mushrooms, but I'll start with breakfast. So breakfast had the chocolate muesli, was fantastic. You can do it cold or hot. I did it hot and it kind of melted all the chocolate up. It was really good. Then that was, you know, kind of the main thing for breakfast. You know, I had the, I had all the, the salty with the, the strawberry jam, pretty, it was okay. Nothing really special there. I had the chocolate biscuits and the cereal biscuits. And then the cocoa with the coffee, which I found out it's better just to drink that coffee from these rations by itself. The flavor is fantastic. So we'll go on to lunch. Lunch, really good. I just had the soup. 
and it was cream of mushroom soup and there's something that was a much more depth to the mushroom flavor in that soup than I'm used to. Some of the canned cream of mushroom soups I eat around in the States, it doesn't have that like a, almost like a, a portobello or more of a stronger flavor than mushroom that's not just artificial. Um, but really good overall, uh, really good with the uh, biscuits, the salty biscuits. Overall, great lunch. Nothing wrong with that. I had to, some tea and uh, the pork and mushroom pate is kind of salty, but you got to put it on the cracker to really help out. The MVP of lunch, and I really enjoyed all, all the ration, was actually the canned prunes. The canned prunes were fantastic. They, they had the very um, tough uh, exterior, but nice, soft inside, and still juicy, so it was really amazing. All right, for dinner. For dinner, we had the pork risotto with mushrooms. That was really good, but I, I will say, after I let it cool down a lot, like a little bit more, and get, because uh, when I first was eating it and testing it in front of the camera, it was really hot, and it seemed, as it cooled down, it got a little bit more flavor, because um, I was eating it, and I was like, wow, this is actually, so I did want to mention that, um, but I also had the, just the coffee by itself, it's really good, the mango tea um, drink was really good, very subtle, nothing major, and all the bars, and there's a ton of bars in this uh, this French ration that none of them really stood out uh, except for the pate fruit bar. That one was really good. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed trying something new. There's a lot of new elements in it. It's the French I RCIR Menu 11. Um, there's quite a bit in it. And the gnome stole a, one of the mains, but I still had one. And he did try to steal the other one, but I, I caught him. And now to the final event. This was the true MVP. This was amazing. This gooey butter cake. I can't, I, I, you, I'm speechless right now. I took a bite and it's hard to even explain how awesome it is. It's, uh, it's just something that I've never had. Like I've had cakes before. I've never had something to this level. So I definitely recommend you want to check that out. I said all links will be below. Um, thanks again, Marilyn. That's fantastic. And then also, I did want to mention, I did get the ration at uh, Joe's Army Navy Surplus. All links will be below. As well as uh, Fireball Fred. Again, thanks for the duel. So, that's a, that's a lot of information, but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing it. And that's all I got now. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day.